Hey, this is Greg Steer. Welcome to another edition of You Can't Quarantine the Gospel. It's a daily Devo. I want you to comment on it, get the word out to your friends, to encourage you at this time where a lot of people are under quarantine, kind of locked in the rooms, that you know what? We need to still get the gospel out there. We need to spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Today, I want to talk to you about what it means to go all in. Romans 12.1, great verse. It says, I beg you, therefore, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, in view of salvation, right, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. In view of all that Jesus has done for you, go all in for him. I remember once I was talking to a group of pastors, and one of the guys said, you know what? I'm convinced if you don't go all in for Jesus, you're not really saved. I'm like, well, you got to be careful because all in for Jesus is really a response to the fact that he's gone all in for us. We're saved by faith alone in Christ, uh, and then we get to go all in because he saved us. And I took him to Romans 12, 12 1. I said, you know, I beg you, therefore, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, go all in. Right? I said, you know, does it, does it always, I said, all in, it's a, it's a poker term. And I got some poker chips to help represent this. When you go all in, that means you take all your poker chips, which are, represent money, and, and you're pushing them all to the middle of the table because you think that your poker hand, those cards that you got, are the winning hand. I asked the question, I guess, does it always make sense to go all in? And they were like, no, it doesn't always make sense to go all in. I said, now, if you got a good hand, sometimes it makes sense to go all in. I said, what if you have a royal flush? Now, for those of you who don't play poker like me, uh, a royal flush is the highest hand you can possibly have. It is literally unbeatable. And, and they said, no, if you have a royal flush, why wouldn't you go all in? It doesn't, it, it makes sense to push all those chips in the middle. I said, do you have to? And they said like, no. I said, if you got a royal flush, you could just throw one chip in, but would that be stupid? That'd be dumb. I said, listen, here's the deal. We got the royal flush at salvation because Jesus went all in for us. We put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ. We don't have to go all in, but it's stupid not to because he already paid the price for our sin on the cross. He's given us all the great things of salvation. Why would we not go all in and say, you know what, I wanna serve you with all my heart because you saved me by faith alone in Christ alone. Listen, if you're a believer in Christ, I challenge you to go all in for Jesus because he's gone all in for you. Part of going all in is spreading the word that Jesus paid the price on the cross. So challenge you, spread the good news of Jesus Christ, text your friend, ask them how you can pray for them, begin a gospel conversation. Everybody's freaking out. Now's the time to go all in and spread the good news of Jesus. Mm -hmm.